Shockingly, many products sold in stores or sold online use ingredients in their products such as pond scum, pine bark, waste products from the wine industry, petroleum, turpentine, or marigold petal extracts grown in a foreign country, grown in a third world country like Thailand. These ingredients, of course, are not normally eaten by humans at all for the simple reason that they are not food. These are not items you would find at a salad bar or in a vegetable garden or in a produce section. In my entire life, I have never met a person who intentionally ate pine bark or grape seeds or marigold petals grown in a foreign country. Should a person ingest products with strange, bizarre, questionable ingredients like these? Or should they use and ingest products made by GNLD that are, in fact, made from the highest quality, purest, safest foods available in the world today? When many companies want to sell beta carotene, they want to supply that to their customers. They will use salt water pond scum algae. The only way you know they're doing that is on the label. It will say Dunelli Ella Salina. Salina is salt water, uh, salt for salt water. So Dunelli Ella Salina, salt water pond scum. Now you just ask yourself three simple questions. In your backyard, do you grow salt water pond scum for your family's consumption? Second question, when you're at a salad bar, do you help yourself to the saltwater pond scum algae there? Third question, when you go to the grocery store, do you ever come home at, from the produce section with a bag of, of algae? Contrast that approach to GNLD. When GNLD wants to provide beta carotene, because according to University of California at Berkeley, it lowers risk of many types of cancers and appears to slow aging, GNLD uses a source that people actually eat. In the food supplement industry, this appears to be a novel idea, unique to GNLD in many cases. They actually use an ingredient which is food that people do grow in their backyards, that people do use at salad bars, and that people do go to the grocery store and bring home. They use carrots. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to talk to a gentleman who works at a very high level in the science and research community. He gave me a scenario that can, he has seen things of this nature happen. He said for disease tracking, the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia, they call it the CDC, they may get a phone call from New York and somebody says, you know, we have these horrendous symptoms happening. Well, they don't have any idea what it is, but they make a notation, they record it. Well, a month later, they get two calls from New Jersey with the exact same symptoms. They still don't know what it is, but they record it. Uh, three months later, they get four calls from Ohio, all the same thing. Uh, six months later, they get uh, 17 calls from Oklahoma, all the same thing. Well, after a year of research and talking to these people, they're finally able to connect the dots. And what happens is all, all these people are all on the same product made by the same manufacturer, which has got some crazy skewball ingredient in it. So my question is, why would you jeopardize your health by consuming an ingredient that is not normally even eaten by humans? GNLD says, look, we think it's a lot safer to use ingredients in our products that are actually from foods that people would normally eat. Ingredients like pine bark extracts, grapeseed extracts, or marigold extracts may lack long-term safety studies to know what happens to people who consistently consume them on a daily basis. After all, these ingredients are not foods normally eaten by humans. So we use things like tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, strawberries, peaches, spinach, things that humans have eaten safely for hundreds and hundreds of years. So we don't have any concerns about what happens if you're using uh, something that's not actually in the human food chain for uh, 10 or 20 years in a supplement form. So we think that's a lot safer. We don't use marigold petals. I believe this is because they're not in the human food chain. We don't use grape seeds which many companies will use. Grape seeds are actually a waste product of the wine industry. So the companies are, want to use the grape seeds maybe because they're dirt cheap, because they're garbage from the wine. I called vineyards around here to confirm this and they said, yeah, what we do with our seeds from the wine uh, is we feed them to cows or we compost them. So they're garbage, a waste product.